were working together on I Knew You Were Waiting. And when she arrived, she arrived with this huge, huge, covered in tinfoil thing of ribs, big, big rack of, of lamb, you know. And I said, I'm really sorry, Aretha, but I, I haven't eaten meat for many years, right? Which is no longer the case, but I gave up meat for about 12 years. And she said, okay, okay. And then while I was, <laughs> while I was in this studio doing my takes, because we did end up doing the, the choruses together. You know, we sang them together, which was phenomenal. She wanted to do it that way, but we sang them either side of the mic, the way they always pretend to in the, in the videos. Can you imagine I'm standing there just freaking out? I'm singing the other side of the mic with Aretha Franklin, and she's treating me like an equal. You know, obviously I'm not, but she was treating me with such respect. But before she came and did that bit, I was doing my bits on my own, and she was literally, because I wasn't going to have them, she thought I might as well have them, and she can get through a rack of ribs like a machine. But the best bit was, at the end of each one, she would rip off the rib and throw it across the room into this bin. <laughs> and every time, but it was right the other side of the, the studio, but she'd been in that studio so many times, and presumably eaten so many ribs, that she could, she could hit that bucket in the corner like that. It was like, you know, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. She could have worked at a fairground. Simply, you know, she's the best. Uh, much as I love a lot of other female artists, there's no one touches her.